to my channel. My name is Natalia and I'm a holistic vocal coach and I help people just like you transform your voice and your life along the way and I'm also a professional crossover singer and today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. Not how to sing high notes, how to do this or how to do that, but something that is a very important thing that I don't see anybody talks about and I think it's really worth listening to. So if you want to know what it is, stay tuned. So as you can see from the title, this is something that I think a lot of singer miss. And I think that not just by my personal journey, but I always remind it to my students. And that's something that I see a lot of people struggle with is just to have fun with their voices. And it sounds weird. What does that mean to have fun with your voice? <laughs> but I just want you to think about it. We right now, uh, if you study or you go to take, you take vocal lessons, the traditional vocal technique and the traditional vocal training is very about perfectionism. It's very about you have to sing this way, you have to do this way, you have to sing this way in a specific rhythm, in a specific meter, in a specific, uh, you know, intonation, everything that has to be perfect, right? And we always kind of strive for that perfect sound, for that perfect take, and not just singing, in everything we do in our life. And I want to take you back for one second, and just close your eyes for one second, and take a deep breath in with me. And I want to take you to your first memory when you were a kid, wherever that was, see the walls, see their room you're being sleeping in as a kid, see your parents, see the school or the kindergarten or your teacher or your friends. And I want you to think about and kind of bring yourself back to the memory of just playing around with your toys. And maybe you sang something as your little kid and you actually enjoyed it. And you weren't thinking about anything technical. We were just singing. Now open your eyes. How that it feel? Pretty liberating, right? That's what we lost throughout the years. That kind of permission to just play to just experiment, to just do things for just doing things, not because they have to be perfect, but because I want to have fun and I want to just sing and I'm singing and that's it. But with the years, society told us, well, if you don't have the perfect voice, if you don't really sound that good, we don't want to hear it. Or you can't really make mistakes. It's kind of, it's hard. No, we don't want to hear it. You have to be perfect especially if you're a professional singer, forget about that. Especially if you're in the classic kind of genre, forget about that, right? There's so many rules, 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 rules. And that is just diminishing and diminishing and diminishing who we are. And what happens, and I think that's the biggest thing right now, a lot of people sound the same. A lot of people really don't give themselves the validation of allowing to even explore who they are as a singer, as an artist, because they're trying to fit some sort of rule book that I don't even know who wrote to be even looked as legit or a good singer. And that's what upsets me. And I have to tell you, the minute I gave myself the permission to try different things, to just, instead of being perfect, and I remember this, and a lot of times when I tell my students, I don't want you to do it perfectly, I want you to have fun with it right now. Just by saying that, the whole attitude, the whole vibe just ch changed right away. They just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna have fun with it. And guess what happens? The pressure of being perfect and the pressure of doing things correctly and you know, do it beautifully. It's just that whole thing that actually not helping you to sing your best way is out of the way and you're fully present. Because being playful, being curious, being in the moment, that's what means being in the moment, right? So I thought it was really, really important to bring out this kind of idea. And that's something that I think not a lot of people talk about. And as I said, it's so important for everything you do in your life, don't 
take it too seriously. It's not that serious. It's really not. Vocal technique meant to give you the tools to express yourself fully, but this is not the rules. This is not the rules. Not, nobody said that, oh, this is only the way. No, this is a self-exploration thing that you have to find for yourself what works best for you. To have a good guide as a good vocal teacher is somebody that can really work and, and you kind of meet each other in the middle, right? where the, the voice teacher really gives you the tools, the, gives you the ideas, but you find it in the studio together. It's not, unfortunately, the traditional vocal training. That's why I decided to become even a teacher, is to bring to the world more the permission of really being you and understand that your voice is perfect already the way it is. And we're just, you know, tweaking it, but the essence of it is perfect because it's it's here. Because that's what God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, brought to this world. So the world needs your authentic voice to be heard, and not something that is just like so you know polished and so perfect. What does that mean, right? So I want you to think about next time when you're practicing your songs or you're just doing the scales that can feel very kind of boring, right? I want you to bring that playfulness spirit into it. I want you to try out to just have fun with it. And also adding to that, not just to approach it to be fun, but also give yourself the permission to experiment with different things with no expectation of being good at it right away because <laughs> we are so hard on ourselves right away and I, can, I know I can I, I speak to my, for myself but I know those who are listening right now this should be and definitely probably resonating with you guys too that like we don't give ourselves the permission to try things and be bad at them and just have fun because you just want to have fun with doing that and not because you're going to do it well. It's just because you want to have fun with that and you're just doing it to the sake of doing it. Not because you, they bring you anything or because you have to do it or what, you have to be good at it. Because you want to do it and have fun with it. <laughs> and I really encourage you to listen to different genres. To try different vocal exercises that are not your norm. Try different things that are completely not something you're used to doing and have fun with it. So for instance, if you are a classical singer, don't say to yourself, I cannot sing pop. Don't, don't go there even. Try, have fun with it. Maybe you will suck at it. So what? But this is what I'm talking about. We're taking away from ourselves the permission to have fun while we're growing ourselves as human beings and as artists and as singers. This is, shouldn't be that serious. Having fun is the motivation that's going to keep you, that keeps the fuel for you to keep going, to keep singing, to keep trying. And if you only kind of aiming to that perfection, that's going to burn out really, really fast. And one day you're just going to have enough. It's not going to be worth it because you're just not going to have fun with that. You're just not going to enjoy it anymore. So what's the point? And I know that's something that happened to me, you know, at the beginning, I, since I remember myself, I just enjoyed singing. And let me tell you, when I was little, I, I sometimes listen to myself and I was like, wow, I was singing really, really well. And then of course, some, you know, teachers say you this and you have to do that. And all these ideas come to you of how you should sing. And then you kind of find your own voice. But in that, within that journey, I remember studying with the best teachers in New York, I really didn't enjoy it anymore. And motivation to study really hard, you know, it's not easy to become a professional singer, especially in the, in the operatic world, where you have to study those languages, the IPA, those different styles, memorizing, training, and go to different coaches on top of your voice lessons. There's so much dedication and it's so hard to be kind of drawn into and, and um, it's almost like people only focus on the perfection of 
what's going to get you the audition? What's going to get you that part? Is that being like on that perfect? But I have to tell you that whenever I go to see an opera or I'm going to see any performance, basically, I know if they're having fun or not on that stage. And if they're not, I'm not having fun. I don't care how beautiful they sing. So what's the point in this? If you're not having fun as a singer, we don't have fun as an audience. What's the point in all of this? Right? Not everything should be fun. Some of some of the you know pieces are very serious or but but still give yourself the permission to be playful, to be lighter, to give yourself the permission to make mistakes, not putting in expectations right away, to be curious. Those things are the things that are opening yourself up to new opportunities, to new ways of singing and expanding you as a singer and as an artist. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this little, I don't wanna say tutorial, but definitely very, very important subject. And if you have any thoughts, any have any questions, comments, anything like that, you know where to put them in the comment section below. I always listen to you guys. So please leave them. And again, if you wanna become the singer you meant to be, you just don't know where to start. I have a free three day vocal challenge waiting just for you so go ahead take advantage of it click the first link in my section and it's going to direct you to my website you're going to insert your name and your email and i'll send you the three-day vocal challenge right away into your inbox and as always i'm here for you for any questions any concerns and don't forget to subscribe because we are growing and i want you to be part of our vocal uh, on our world and our family this keeps expanding and growing and with that guys i love you as I said, don't ever stop dreaming. No, don't even think about that your voice is just whatever. If you have the desire to sing, go ahead, pursue it, go for it. Doesn't mean you have to be the biggest star in order to make it, no. It's about fulfilling yourself and listening to your own inner guide and to your own intuition and follow that. That's true success, okay? So I love you guys and I'll see you next video.